Hello Pisces, welcome to your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Pisces, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. What is this, Pisces? Hmm, interesting. So Pisces, we are connecting this reading for you with someone who is in love with you. They feel deep love. They feel this connection. They see you as their soulmate. <laughs> but what is this? If this person, and listen Pisces, it might not resonate with all of you and probably it won't, but it might be a message here for someone. If this person is doing some sort of spell work, that won't happen. I'm going to say one thing, another thing as well. For some of you, someone here got involved and that third party who got very jealous, who is bored, um, there is something here about the third person who might got involved in that situation, it was like this person was projecting negativity on your connection with this person. I am getting more a third party in a sense of someone else getting involved in that situation. And it might be a case that for instance, this is this per I feel this is from this person's eye. Um, it might be a friend, colleague, a jealous, someone who has feelings for them, or maybe relative. Um, I'm not getting that this is something to do with a spell work. It might be, you know, you tell me. We, get, we, we are getting that sort of kind of, you know, terminology here. But I feel this is more about this person projecting negativity or wishing this connection to not work out. I'm going to be honest with you, Pisces. Like this person is, was wishing that this connection will not work out because they are bored, they are jealous, they are petty. That's what I am getting. This person that we are connecting this reading for you that this reading is about sees you as their soulmate and I feel this person is realizing that in their close related environment there is someone who at the very beginning didn't or wasn't optimistic about their connection with you you know yeah I'm getting someone who's been very very noisy um they might have been spying on you i'm talking about that third person who got involved um trying to gain as much as information about you something like this pretending that it, that they have good intentions but it but there was something that 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 wasn't this you know it wasn't a case pretending to be friendly yeah I'm getting it very, very strongly. This is someone who affected this connection. Show me more. If you feel that this person that this reading is about, for instance, is doing spell work, it won't work out. It will not work out. No. No, that's, 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 that's not a great thing to do. 
And they have to be quite careful doing that because the repercussions can go in the opposite way, really. So that's not advisable <laughs> to do. You are protected here, Pisces. You, do, you don't need to be, you know, you don't need to be worried about anything. But I feel this is someone else who got involved and they just projected that negativity on this connection. Show me more, Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Something here ended very quickly and it didn't even have a time to start. Something ended sooner than it started, if that makes sense. Because we have an Ace of Pentacles and then we have the Death card. A beginning, solid new beginning. It looked really good and then it ended. Four of Wands. Knight of Wands, you might be dealing with Scorpio. This person sees you as their soulmate. Four of Wands or even Twin Flame, I would say. Knight of Cups. Yeah, it feels like this person that this reading is about, Pisces, they reacted in a, mm, in a kind of reckless way. They didn't think about the repercussions of this, it's like they got manipulated and something here ended. Now, with the Knight of Cups, they want to apologize, extend the offer of love and a peace. The tower at the bottom of the deck. Uh-huh, there we have that energy. And next to the Three of Cups, so this is a third person who got involved in that situation, Pisces. I was getting, I was getting this. It's like a double confirmation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they created this, this ending. Wow. Okay, Pisces. So we have Ace of Pentacles, the Death card, Four of Wands, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, the Devil card, Three of Cups, Strength and the Tower. You might be dealing with Scorpio. We have Capricorn, we have Leo and Aries energy so far in this reading for you. So as I mentioned before, something here started, something here ended sooner than it started, if that makes sense. Something, something here looked, it, yeah, it, it felt like it's a good new beginning, but it ended very quickly. And because this person, it's like they got provoked, um, they got influenced here by this energy. And next to the Three of Cups, there is this suggestion that it is someone from the close related environment who got involved, who projected some sort of negativity on this connection, Four of Wands. Mm -hmm. And this person, I feel they acted in a very kind of reckless way or they didn't, they didn't think about the repercussions. They, they, they didn't think about this at all. And it's just, because that is very fast action. They did something really quickly here and it feels like it ended. Now they had time to think about this. They want to extend that offer of love and apology. They want to talk about this person. It's like they realized that in their close environment, free of cups, there is someone that, they, that cannot be trusted. It's like this person now knows the truth. You know, yeah, strength. And here is the thing it, this person created that tower moment in this connection. Something here happened unexpectedly out of the blue, and it, it created a change. But it didn't change the fact that this person that this reading is about still 
feels that bond with you. They still are very passionate about you and they care a lot about you. But they've made a mistake li to listen to this person who is simply jealous, who projected that negativity on this connection because they are bored and, and it feels like they don't like seeing people to be happy. I will say it because that's not okay. And it's like, I feel what I am getting here, Pisces, is that this person might be in love with them. That third, third you know, that person that got involved might be, in, might, might be in love with that person that this reading is about, or they are jealous. Could you please show me this person that this reading is about? Uh, they feelings towards Pisces. They want to make amends. They want to apologize. Queen of Pentacles. For what, for what happened here between the two of you. So we have Queen of Pentacles. Six of Wands, the Empress. You might be dealing with Taurus, Virgo. We have also Gemini. This person still has love for you with the King of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, yeah, with the Empress. They see you as their divine counterpart. No one compares to you. They know that you are, that you bring so much to the table, that you have so much to offer, that you are very caring, very loving, very nurturing energy. Six of Wands, they want your attention. And this is someone who really kind of, even if you are not in touch with them, Pisces, they are speaking in a very high regard about you. In a, they, they, okay, they're speaking in a very, very good way. They hold you in a very high regard. It's like this person doesn't allow anyone to, to say anything, you know, bad about this connection or you. They love you. This is someone who has love for you. Show me this person's actions towards Pisces in the near future or immediate future. The Hanged Man. Seven of Pentacles. Knight of Swords mm -hmm. and King of Cups, Five of Wands. Okay, you might be dealing with another Pisces. <laughs> so we have the Hangman, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords and King of Cups, Five of Wands as an overall energy. Here is the thing, Pisces. When we're talking about near future, immediate future, what I mean, it's a week or two weeks. I don't see that happening. I, I'm not seeing them taking a significant action here within a week or two weeks. I feel that you, there is a need to be patient, especially with the hangman, which is a passive energy, seven of pentacles. Again, it's waiting, being patient. Uh, it might take a bit longer, okay, for this person to come forward. At the moment with the five of wands, I feel that they are, this is someone who's going like, like in a, they are going, they're facing that in a conflict. I feel they want to reach out, but deeply inside, they feel really kind of, you know, conflicted if they should do it, because I feel that this person is aware that they create a tension between the two of you. Maybe there was a disagreement argument you know and it's just very awkward for them but this person at some point with the knight of swords they're going to reach out because they feel the urge to talk they feel that there is something that needs to be addressed and with the king of cups they want to show you it's like this person feels that they really want to show you that they still care but i feel that it might take a bit longer for some of you it might happen in next month you know at the end of next month. That's what I am getting. 
especially with the hanged man and the seven of pentacles i need to be honest with you but this person is it's 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 heavily thinking about you they want to fix the situation and the good thing here is that they've realized that that person that got involved in the middle it's someone that they can that cannot be trusted and i feel that this is really really important but when it comes to significant action from this side i feel that it, there is a need to to be patient and for some of you they will reach out in next month at the end of at the end of next month could you please show me the outcome and but they will reach out they will six of swords Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have six of swords, a two of wands. Two of swords, the will of fortune for some of you. Number 22 might be quite important or numbers two, two might be of significance. Okay. You might be dealing with Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Okay. Six of Swords with the Two of Wands, Two of Swords and Wheel of Fortune. Mm. Um, things going to change with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. And things will change for the better. Because Wheel of Fortune in this case brings good luck, good fortune and, and kind of very significant change of events. You will see when that things are going to start falling into place. And what I am getting here that this person will take action but it's like they will take their time. I'm not seeing them being mm, particularly kind of, um, I feel this person doesn't want to come across as desperate. Uh, there is this understanding when I look at this energy. What I mean by this is like this person feels that um, they need to take into account that you won't forgive them immediately, that it might take time. And it feels like this person is ready to wait. But mainly with the Six of Swords, I'm seeing them wanting to move on uh, from that particularly difficult situation, move on with you. It's like, let's move on from, let's leave it behind and let's move on together, you know, towards more calmer times, bringing more tranquility and peace to the situation. Two of Wands, it's waiting for that moment two of swords yeah it's like i feel that at the moment it is like it's a double-edged sort of situation indeed but uh, this person here things will change things will change and even when this person will reach out i feel that they will be quite um patient and they they won't be um they won't be intense that's what i am getting i'm seeing them you know being in touch trying to fix the situation quite slowly but when the time is right you will see them taking a significant action it's like this person will try very slowly gain your trust i'm not seeing them being intense i'm being i'm seeing them being very persistent persistent uh, i'm seeing <laughs> what i want to say is like i see perseverance them not giving up that's what I am getting very strongly. And Wheel of Fortune is that promise that things will change. And this person uh, will, will take initiative to change the circumstances within this connection. Because with the judgment as an overall energy, this person wants to resurrect this connection. They want to talk and they want to resurrect this. They want things to get better they want things to start falling into place and they truly want to talk with you about what happened here between the two of you judgment suggests that this connection can work out it can be resurrected and i'm seeing this person really wanting this and i'm seeing them putting actually effort in order to change those circumstances between the two of you but in order to see significant change in a, in a sense of them reaching out to you 
I feel that you will have to wait a little bit longer here, Pisces. And again, for some of you, this person might reach out to you at the end of, that, of next month. But judgment suggests here that things can work out between the two of you. There will be a conversation, quite important conversation, that will bring a very significant change and that a chance to rebuild this connection. Pisces, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Pisces, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.